Hi, scholars. Today, we're going to read part four of The One and Only Ivan. But before we get started, we need to go over why we're doing this. We need to revise understanding. And the reason why we need to is to make sure that we understand the lesson of the story that the author is trying to teach us. Um, what we need to do is collect evidence about the characters and evaluate our understanding of that character. How? We need to ask ourselves, why is the character acting this way? Is it something that I already know or is it something that I learned new about the character? So today is going to look a little bit different. Sometimes we have focus questions and then sometimes we have big ideas and text evidence. For today, I am going to model how to answer the focus question. That means we're going to use race to respond to the question. That means we need to restate, answer the question, cite text evidence, and explain our answer. So we're going to focus on using race for this focus question. But in your activity, you're going to find text evidence to support this big idea. Our focus question for today is, why is Ivan going to try to eat more? So we're going to read the story and figure out why is he going to try to eat more. For your part, you're going to find the text evidence to support this big idea. Stella used to be in the circus and she was treated bad. She hurt her foot and couldn't perform anymore. It is still injured and sometimes makes her sick. So it's your job to find three pieces of evidence that supports this big idea about Stella used to be in the circus and how she hurt her foot and how it still makes her sick. So you're going to find three pieces of evidence on this side to support. But first, we're going to go over this focus question using race. Go ahead and turn your pages to, chap to ch the chapter that says Stella, which is page 27. Stella says, she is sure I will see another real, real live gorilla someday. And I believe her because she's older than I am. And she has eyes like black stars and knows more than I will ever know. Stella is a mountain. Next to her, I am a rock. Bob is a grain of sand. Every night when the store is closed and the moon washes the world with a milky light, Stella and I talk. We don't have much in common, but we have enough. We are huge and alone, and we both love yogurt raisins. Sometimes Stella tells the stories of her childhood of leafy canopies hidden by the mist and the busy songs of flowing water. Unlike me, she recalls every detail of her past. Stella loves the moon with its troubled smile. I love the feel of the sun on my belly. She says, it's quite a belly, my friend. And I say, thank you. And so is yours. We talk, not too much. Elephants like gorillas do not waste words. So we know that Stella is an elephant and she's a friend of Ivan's. And the thing that they have in common is that they're both big animals. Stella used to perform in a large and famous circus. And she still does some of those tricks for our show. During one stunt, Stella stands on her hind legs while she snickers while Snickers jump on her head. It's hard to stand on your hind legs when you weigh more than 40 men. If you are a circus elephant and you stand on your hind legs while a dog jumps on your head, you get a treat. If you do not, the claustic comes swinging. Elephant hide <clears throat> is thick as bark on an ancient tree, but claustic can pierce it like a leaf. Once Stella saw a trainer hit a bull elephant with a claustic. A bull is like a silverback, noble, contained, calm, like a cobra is calm. When the claw stick caught the bull's flesh, he tossed the trainer into the air with his tusk. The man flew, Stella said, like an ugly bird. She never saw the bull again. And I see here's a picture of Stella. Stella's trunk. Stella's trunk is a miracle. She can pick up a single peanut with an elegant precision, tickle a passing mouse, tap the shoulder of a dozen keeper, of a dozing keeper. Her trunk is remarkable, but still it can't latch the door of her tumble down domain. Circling Stella's legs are long scars, long ago scars from the chain she wore as youth. 
her bracelets, she called them. When she worked at the famous circus, Stella had to balance on a pedestal for her most difficult trick. One day, she fell off and injured her foot. When she went lame and lagged behind the other elephants, the circus sold her to Mac. Stella's foot never healed completely. She limps when she walks, and sometimes her foot gets infected when she stands in one place for too long. Last winter, Stella's foot swelled to twice its normal size. She had a fever, and she lay on the damp, cold floor of her domain for five days. They were very long days. Even now, I'm not sure if she's completely better. She never complains, though, so it's hard to know. At the Big Top Mall, no one bothers with iron shackles. A bristly rope tied to a bolt in the floor is all that is required. They think I'm too old to cause trouble, Stella says. Old age, she says, is a powerful disguise. A plan. It's been two days since some, anyone's come to visit. Mac is in a bad mood. He says we're losing money. Hand over fist. He says he's going to sell us, sell a whole lot of us. When Thelma, a blue and yellow ma macaw, demands me, kiss me, big boy, for the third time in 10 minutes, Mac throws a soda can at her. Thelma's wings are clipped so that she can't fly, but she can still hop. She leaps aside just in the nick of time. Pucker up, she says with a thrill whistle, with a shrill whistle. Max stomps his to his office and slams his door shut. I wonder if any visitors have grown tired of me. Maybe if I learn a trick or two, it will help. Humans do seem to enjoy watching me eat. Luckily, I am always hungry, and I am a gifted eater. A silverback must eat 45 pounds of food a day if he wants to stay a silverback. 45 pounds of fruit and leaves and seeds and stems and barks and vines and rotten wood. I also enjoy the occasional insect. I'm going to try to eat more. Maybe we will get more visitors. Tomorrow, I will eat 50 pounds of food. Maybe 55. That should make Mac happy. So now that we've finished on page 33, we're going to answer the race response. Why is F Ivan going to try to eat more? Hmm, I know that with my race response, I need to restate the question. And here is my restate. Ivan is going to try to eat more because make sure you're copying as I am copying so you have a, a a sample of your race response. So when I give you a focus question, you know how to answer it using race. Ivan is going to try to eat more because I'm going to put a check under the R because I restated. it. Now I need to answer the question because he thinks it might help bring more customers. Now that I've restated the question, I've answered the question, I'm going to check off the A for answer. Now I need to cite some text evidence. Hmm. In the text, it says, Mac is in a bad mood. Notice how I use quotation marks. In the text it says, I use quotation marks. Max, Mac is in a bad mood. He says he is going to sell the whole a whole lot of us. It also says
This is what Ivan said. Remember, I'm using my quotation marks because it comes right out of the book. Humans do seem to enjoy me eat. Now I have cited my text evidence. I put in the text it says, and you can put the page number or not, but you need to make sure that you need to notify that you got it from the text and you use those quotation marks. I'm going to check off my C because now I have cited my text evidence. Ivan is going to try to eat more because he thinks it might not, it might help bring more customers. In the text it says, Max, Mac is in a bad mood. He says he's going to sell a whole lot of us. It also says, humans do seem to enjoy me eat. Hmm. This makes me think Ivan wants to eat more so Mac can get more customers. I know I ran a little bit out of room. So now I have explained and I'm going to check off my E for explain. I know it is a pretty lengthy response. I had to put this here so you're able to see um, your big idea and text evidence as well. But this will also be inside of your Seesaw post. So I'm going to go over the race response again using all parts of race, the R, A, C, and E. R is for restate. Ivan is going to eat more because he thinks Ivan is going to try to eat more. Restate. Because he thinks it might help bring more customers. Answer. In the text it says, Mac is in a bad mood. He says it's going to sell a whole lot of us. It also says, humans do seem to enjoy me eat. That is citing my text evidence. Then I have a last sentence to explain. This made me think that Ivan wants to eat more so Mac can get more customers. And you can even add, so Mac can have more money from the Big Top Circus. So this is how you complete a race response. You're welcome to view this video at any time to see it. I will also post a Seesaw post for you all to see how to do an exemplar race response when you have a focused question. Your activity is to provide evidence for this big idea about Stella. You're going to provide three to four pieces of evidence that talks about Stella used to be in a circus and how she hurt her foot. I can't wait to see your work. Don't forget the page number and quotation marks.